Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival, complete with crazy mods, and a new update, which has added, among other things... Heads up. Just a second. Heads up. Something you need, Mom? Come on. You were doing it just a second ago. Wait there. Nothing would please me more. Come on. All right. Come on. Just give me one second. Look alive. I'm all in. Anyways, um, it turns out... Okay, forget it. It turns out he's programmed to say Talia now. So he would actually say my character's name. So today's episode, we're going to start by making a run to Abernathy Farm and making it my own. So that hopefully I can make some better use of the... Uh, get a better punch for my uh, farming there. Our next perk, we are going to get... Um, Local leader one, so that we can establish supply lines, because that's got a lot of benefit to me. Alright, and then, actually, I might want to get some sleep, a proper sleep, before I do anything else, but... Come on, hydrate. Hydrate. We've got a long haul ahead of us, we don't want to be thirsty for it, at least. We want to be well rested because we'll get more uh, XP when we're well, well rested. Those stupid little bastards are still there. Fortunately for us, we can go around. And let's see, it's been a few days. Have our mute fruits here come back. No. As expected, no. Come on, you two. Let's go. Oh, hello. Brahmin. Or not Brahmin, but uh, Radstags. I wonder... They're actually a source of food we can we can harvest right now, so that big guy there is a little he looks dangerous. Yeah, I suspected as much. Crap, should have reloaded first. Nice. One legendary down. Nice. I suspected he might be a legendary, he just looked different. That worked out well. Alright, here we are. Welcome to Abernathy Farm, also known as... Our latest and greatest and newest. Hey, Mr. Abernathy, come on. Hold still. I've got that locket back for you. You serious? That's great news. Connie's gonna be speechless. I'm sure she'll go lean on her prices after what you've done. And feel free to use our workshop. The least we can do. Yeah. Well, at least I can do for you, too. Because now I can make this place really thrive. Blake told me what you did for us, for Mary. I know it's not much, but any trading you want to do, I'll go easy on the price. Uh, let me know if there's anything you want to take a look at. I will. Let's uh, That'd be see great. what they've got. So they don't carry, she doesn't carry a lot of food type things, but she does have some caps, which we could sell later some of our garbage weapons at a pretty good price. So that's a benefit. She sells 38 rounds. Not very many though. And we're doing okay on those still. Don't really need a pipe auto pistol, but she does supply a lot of things we might need for construction later. Alright, let's 
Let's make this place really bloom. All right. So water is definitely an issue. Yeah, we can make this place way more efficient with a little effort. This is going to be our Tato farm of epicness. So what we need to do is we need to take... We need to start by storing some of these. Two, three... Now I'd love to put these in a greenhouse, but I think I'll do that another day. To start, we'll just get these safe and sound. And make better use of the amount we have under production. And I hear a fussing little girl again. All right. Let's go over here to the farm. Crops. And the first step towards having... Oh, okay, so we don't have ceramic or fertilizer. Well, that's a thing we can definitely fix, potentially. We're looking specifically for ceramic. It looks like we can't scrap as much new stuff here. Oh. Okay, they're just talking to. She's just talking to her cat. Okay. What's going to be ceramic? Steel. Plates, pans, some dishes. There's some ceramic. Some water, some various foods. Ooh, more potatoes. Don't really need to do much with those until we get our hands on Alright, come on. Where oh where? There gotta be some plates in here. Oh, hello, there we go. Broken toilet. Broken bathtub. Brilliant. Oh, looks like we can take a few walls out. That's actually a change. Concrete. Wood, fiberglass, ooh, concrete. Excellent. Oh, and fertilizer. There's what we needed. Alright, store all this. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Just a few more things, and then we can start thinking about... There's some stuff that we're going to want to get out of the workbench there. Got to be careful not to tear holes in the wall, since apparently this place could be taken apart, at least in part, now. Apparently can't scrap do anything with that. We'll leave that. All right, let's start with that. Now that should be enough for us to build a few tato planters. There we are. All right. So we'll start this one right here. One. I suppose I should really have gone for the well-rested bonus here, but actually, maybe I still can. Can I borrow somebody's bed? Yes, I can. Give it eight hours of sleep. That'll get me well rested, which gives me a little bit more XP. Yes, gaming the system, but... Uh-oh. What happened? What's going on? Hello, Fallout. 
More than five. Oh, so we can't get well rested on a dirty mattress. Oh. All right, so we need more sleep, which means we can replace this with a proper bed, because apparently that's a thing we need. I learned something new. You need a real bed to sleep. Dog meat, you are taking up the space that a real bed should be placed in. Eight hours will take us till morning. Then we can eat and drink, and all will be well with the world. Alright, so now... I just hope that's just a normal storm and not a rad storm. We are now... I need more sleep? Really? Six more hours? Come on. I guess I probably should have taken it all at once, but... Okay. There's something wrong, probably, with me. It's possible this insomnia issue is an actual health issue, in which case there's not much I can do. Now I can grab... Yeah, switch plate I don't really need. Purified water takes time to get my hands on. Okay. Alright, over to food. There we are. Much nicer looking farm here. There's two. Oh, and we're short potatoes now because it requires four per. But we're already producing more food than we were before. Actually storing tato plants? That might not actually be storing tatoes. That would be annoying. Alright, well that we just grabbed those. Okay. Okay, apparently the tato plant doesn't become a tato anymore. That's somebody changed that. Yeah. So we got nine. Okay, so we stored them in plant form, not. It's a little annoying. Well, I guess that's going to make it a lot easier to overproduce, though. We'll just make the rest of the planters, and then we'll uh, round it out with some just regular plants, I guess. Because we can make melon planters here as well. We have enough melons to make one melon planter. All right, there we go. Got four of those. Round it out with just potatoes because I'm going to need potatoes more than anything here. Certainly more than melons. All right. I'm 
hoping to get this place producing. Okay, so these four are being worked. Perfect. Let's go get rid of the uh, melon plants. Alright, good. There are some more things that we can scrap here. Alright. Just start stocking these. Hopefully we can build more planters of the melon variety. Okay, and then we gotta make sure this place is defended. We do not have the melons, okay. But we do have tato plants, which is what we want to pl plant right now. Okay, because we want to overproduce on food. And water. have enough here for them to produce lots and lots and lots of food. Okay. And then we'll put a few water things in. Okay. All three of them are working the farm. So one way or another we've got enough plants. Perfect. Okay. Water pump requires gears. We don't have gears right now. Mm, do I have anything I can turn into gears? All I need is a piece of machinery to scrap. Like, not you apparently. What's going to have gears in it? Maybe something upstairs for Lucky. But we might have to go and acquire some gears from another settlement. Alright. It doesn't look promising for there to be gears at this in this settlement, which is unfortunate. It means we're going to have to go on a hunt for the right hardware to make them. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Unless we're lucky and we find something around the back here. Just wood. I'm going to say no, they don't have gears here. Which means we can't build a water pump. These need a source of water to work, so that's... Gears, huh? But if we get a link between the two settlements set up, which we could do now, although we don't have enough people at Sanctuary yet, we could fix that pretty fast. Transfer. Have any food we can snag? Three gourds. And a melon. Apparently a tato. We'll leave the tato, we'll take the melon. 
All right, this place should be overproducing soon if it's not already. But we need to get to Sanctuary. And it'd be nice, it should be nice just to go straight to Sanctuary. Or to, I guess we could go to Red Rocket, but we do need to go to Sanctuary to set up the uh, transport program. Oh, hey, Mute Fruit. Nope, Mute Fruit I already have. Come on, don't miss. What's all this, then? That's one down. Picking up hostile life signs. Oh, no. like a little dust up to get Got him. Oil blowing, eh? Nice. And I don't even know where the dead bug is. It's buried in the grass somewhere. Cool, that got us some tato flowers. Oh, interesting. Oh, and some new moot, uh, more mute fruit. Good. Hold on, did something mess up? Did I just wind up with wild mute fruit after all that effort? The game probably patched and made the one of the mods incompatible or something. All right. Well, down to the down to uh, sanctuary. Whoop! Up, up, up! There we go. In we go. I think we're gonna have to turn on the uh, signal again. We need another resident. Yeah, I built this off camera. It is a. Uh, switch power controlled um, radio. There we go. We just turned on the recruitment beacon. And if we're lucky, this will already be... we'll hit seven very soon. In the meantime, let's quickly make a... Uh, bit more water. Yeah, we're already overproducing on water, so we just need to make some more mute fruit planters then. I'm sure we have the excess material to do it now. Um, hold on. Mute fruit planter, there we go. Okay. So yeah, as nice as those other plants are to have, this is more important. Just the one, huh? Okay, we're going to start by storing the... Um, we'll store one of these hub flowers. Okay. Let's see. Still only six. We might just have to wait a little while. Preston doesn't count against the uh, population, I believe. What are you actually doing? Or are you somebody new? You have no job. Oh, excellent. Oh, and I need... Hold on. Level up. As per my plan... Local leader one, which means now you can become a provisioner. You need to make a supply line to Red Rocket or Abernathy Farm. Well, I need to share resources with Abernathy Farm, so for now... Actually, no. We'll... Yeah, no, we'll go straight to Abernathy Farm. We need that connection right now. So congratulations. You're now a officially a walkabout person. Still only six. 
I guess we could set up a little bit of happiness improvement here just to attract a bit more settlers. Let's throw a nice decorative flooring. <laughs> Doily rug. Nice big throw rug? Sure. That looks a little nicer, doesn't it? And morale is going up. Excellent. Alright, so you're our first official provisioner. Now then, what's left? Other than figuring out how to boost supplies further. Well, now with this... Uh, let's just store a few things here. We'll store the gourds. We'll store the potatoes and tato flowers I got. Okay, the mute fruit is gone, so I must have gotten the right kind. Store that. Store the shotgun. No, keep the shotgun shut. Now, there's a special kind of chest we could make. What mod was that? There's a special box I need to make, and that's going to be needed at each site. And hopefully it shows up in the furniture department. Containers. Called a provisioner's chest. I actually really wish we could search. It might actually be in the resource department. Tree farm. Some fast travel stuff. Alright, over to here, resources, misc, mini planters, planter tables, pots, now oh, it could be a workbench related thing. Cooking station, power armor station, nope. No, nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, don't worry about it for now. I'll look it up and figure out where it is off camera. All right, apparently it's going to take a little bit of time before people start showing up again. But we have enough food, we have enough water. I don't know what else we can really ask for here. I'll stop complaining when there's nothing left to complain about. Okay. If you say so, lady. It also means that Abernathy Farm most likely has access to enough water now. Because we've got... a fair amount of excess water being produced here. And that will work. Resources, water. Yeah, we've got pumps. Got one of our water, one of our purifier pumps down here in the water. Could put a second one in. Sanctuary is actually a pretty good place to produce water, so. Eh, that should do for now. All right, everyone, I think I'm going to call it here. I'm going to do a little bit more work around these settlements, and in the next one, I think we'll go and finally find out what Ten Pine Bluffs, the Bluffs want, wants from us. So, yeah, and I'll also take care of myself and figure out what this insomnia effect I'm dealing with is. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.